Okay, here we go. We are looking at Vygotsky's Vygotsky's social cultural theory. Some basic ideas. Now, where Piaget said that thinking occurs from the outside in, Vygotsky said that thinking happens. A change in thinking. Our development of our thinking processes are based on our social interactions with people. Therefore, change in thinking happens from the outside in. As children incorporate or internalize what they hear or see around them into their way of thinking. So society in and culture are important in the cognitive development of children. This is the social cultural theory. Complex mental processes happen on the outside first and children gradually internalize this way of thinking. Speech is an important part of thinking. At our earliest ages, there is no speech. Our thinking processes uh, involve just reaction, memory, and association. From ages 0 to 3, there is socialized speech. This is in the sensory motor and early pre-operational thinking. An operation, remember, in Piagetan terms, is a thinking process. All right? Externalized speech or social speech involves things like cookie, no, outside, used to control or manipulate the behavior of others. Not a lot of thought there. The third stage is egocentric speech or self-talk. This predominates from ages about three to seven. This is thinking out loud, where children talk to themselves, self-speech, to guide their thinking or behavior. Thinking out loud to regulate their behavior. And finally, there is inner speech. This ex egocentric or external speech becomes internalized as a conscious way of thinking. Our thinking is mediated by language. As adults, we forget this. We think in language naturally. Our words are used to manipulate thought. But young children, that is not the case. So the importance of egocentric speech in the development of thinking, it is an important first step. It is externalized speech that happens on the outside first and gradually moves inside, thinking on the outside. Therefore, thought and language, which develop independently at first as we grow older and internalize our thinking, become increasingly interdependent. Thinking affects language and language affects thinking. Thus, lower and higher mental functions, movement from lower to higher mental functions. As I said before, language is a tool to manipulate thought. It's what separates us from animals, the ability to use tools. It's a symbol of thought used to carry ideas like a bucket or manipulate ideas internally. Now, egocentric speech, again, this outside speech, it shifts. It becomes internalized as children become operational around the ages of three to seven. And operation, again, is a mental process. A mental process. So, higher mental functions occur externally first and later become internalized. All right? Social speech becomes internalized. Social interaction, therefore, Interaction with parents, with teachers, with older adults is an important part in developing children's thought. It helps them engage in higher mental functions. They hear the thoughts of others. They gradually internalize that. So this social cultural idea is that our culture, the things happening around us, the people and the environment, it shapes us, it acts upon us, as we act upon and shape our culture. One student commented that 
Today, the culture includes all this internet and technology, and this stuff is shaping our thinking of young children, of older children too. It shapes our way of thinking. Movement from lower to higher mental function. Again, it is the interaction with language, culture, and social interactions that mediate or help move these lower mental functions to higher mental functions. Let me give you an example. These are all lower mental functions. And again, association with these things, we go then to voluntary attention. We can attend to things. We can choose to. Higher mental functioning, willful memory, choosing, reasoning, logical thinking. We can plan and we can make decisions. External first becomes internalized. Basic ideas in part one by Gotsky.